one of the greatest headache that users of Microsoft Office Word face happens to be working with tables. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to copy and paste tables without losing the formatting or styling and getting the exact result that you look forward to. So keep watching. Hi, I'm Ewene Obed and you're welcome to our channel. If this happens to be your first time here, or you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly subscribe for more tutorials like this and also don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified anytime we release a new video. As mentioned earlier, I'm going to walk you through how to copy and paste tables in the right way from any Word or Office Suite app. So for instance, copying a document from PowerPoint copying a table from PowerPoint into Microsoft Word or from Excel into Microsoft Word. For this example that I'm going to walk you through, I'll be using copying from PowerPoint to Microsoft Word. Sometimes when this happens, and I'm going to show you very soon, you realize that the table either extends beyond the boundary of your Word documents because the PowerPoint usually has the slide in a landscape form whilst the Word document has the page in a portrait form. So let's get into the computer and I'll show you exactly how to do this right here. All right, so we are in the computer and this is a table that I'm going to use for the example. As you can see, I have a table within this Microsoft PowerPoint and I want to copy this table. So to be able to copy the table, you need to click on the table then either use the shortcut Control c or right click on it and go to copy so now that i have it copied let's go to a new word document so this is the word document and i'm going to paste it here so pay attention to the results that i get after pasting with pasting i can use Control v or i can right click and use the, the paste option so as you can see let's go back to the powerpoint let me show you something it is date time bp pulse temperature spo2 but in this so let's count them one two three four five six there are six columns but over here we can only see one two three four so as i said this is because the powerpoint has the layout in landscape form whilst the word document has its layout in portrait form so how do we get this to come back without struggling with it all you need to do is make sure that the Word document, the table in Word document is selected. To select the table in Word document, click on this small icon here. Once you click on it, it is selected. Then right click on it, then go to table properties. Table properties. All right, so from here, the first thing you see is size. And you've, the, the automatically preferred width has been tick marked. And this preferred width is coming from the is coming from the PowerPoint that you copied. So we need to untick this in order to fit the new table into our Word document. So let's see the results after unticking it. Go to OK. So automatically you realize the table adjusts itself to fit exactly within the Word document. This is the best way to copy any table from anywhere into Word document. So always make sure you have that preferred weight on tick so that you get it within the confines of your page. So before we go, let me show you other settings within the table practice that can be of much help to you. So for instance, we can actually decide to center the writings in the Word document by selecting this or the writings within the table. So anytime you are working with a table that have the content centered and you do, want, you do not want it that way, you want to come to this place, right click, go to table properties and make sure that the right alignment is selected. So for instance, left alignment in order to keep your content aligned to the right side. Okay, the other thing that we can look at is the column and width sizes column and width sizes so sorry column and row sizes so with the row you can either specify the particular row height 
So if I specify the row height, it means all the height will be the same. So on the normal, what usually happens is that the row size depends or the row height depends on the contents within it. If you have more content or test within one particular row, you will have that row assuming a larger size than the other. But in a situation where you want to have the same height for all your tables or the rows within your tables, then you have to come here and specify that height. So for instance, let's assume I want each of the rows in this table to pick up the height of five centimeters. So five centimeters and let's see what happens. Okay, so as you can see now, the tables have assumed the same row, even though it doesn't look very attractive. So depending on what you actually want to achieve, you can set the same height size for the rows or even do same for the columns as well. So right click and go to table properties. Then you can do same for the column. You can unspecify the height. So if you get a Word document that has equally spaced rows or columns, it means this is what has been done. So if you don't want it that way, then you have to come to that side and uncheck the specify height. So let's uncheck that. Then the next thing I want to show you is, all right, so this one too with the column, the column size has been specified to a particular way so you can unspecify it so that it will just assume the spaces that are available to it okay so as you can see now it has adjusted itself to pick up the spaces that are available to it and this table looks nicer than it looked before so the last thing i want to show you before you go is this right click and go to table properties all right so before then let me just show you over here Let's assume that we had this table pulling to the next page. Let's assume we had this table going to the next page. Let me create more. Let me create more rows so that we can have our table going on to the next page. And let's see what is going to happen. Let's paste. Let's paste items in it. paste these ones okay alright so what I want to show you here is look at the last row that happens to be between the two pages so the last row over here with the date 13th September is broken into two parts and sometimes this is not convenient so your table automatically breaks into two between a row which is not appropriate so to get rid of that and make sure that when you get to the end of the table it ends with that particular row and the next row starts on the next page so right click and go to table properties and row under row see other options we have allow row to break across pages this has been checked that is why it breaks up after one page so when we uncheck this then we will get a uniform table across the pages so now you see that the 13th has been moved to the next page so that we get a neatly arranged table thank you for watching to the end i hope you have learned something new today don't forget to subscribe if you are yet to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this and share the video with your colleagues so that they will also learn something new. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.